to everyone this is Joanna and today I would like to try and share with you this nail look that I have done right here and I hope that you can see that I've tried this time I'm going to try the manual focus but I want to share with you how I got this look and on this nail all that I have done is I have placed two coats of the nail polish that I've used and then on this one I have placed the white spots that I'm going to show you on here this hand is done so this will be the finished look and the colors that I have used that are on my hand so far I'm going to share with you first I'm going to show you um, step one because I'm doing this in real time and this is going to have to dry so one of the things that I like to do that you have heard me mention is I like to put a little bit of white over top of some of my polishes this is a bottle of China Glaze white out and this is an older bottle like I cannot wear this for nail polish itself because as you see it's old and goopy but it is perfect for when I want to take and put a little bit of polish over my looks so I take a sponge like this which is a regular cosmetic sponge and I just pull pieces of it off and what I do is I just dot the polish over top and then I take and just kind of sponge this over the top of the nail like so just hit and miss and all that does is it adds a little character now you probably can't see that too great because the polish is already a light green bring that down a little bit And I'll do that again. And so you get a look that's about like that. And I'm going to put my hand down so you can see this. So about like that. there you go and also I left this nail bare so you can see I do have some damage there I have some areas right here you will often hear me say that I want to let that grow up that's what I was doing when I was doing French manicures that is just polish that is down in there and even if I try to get down in there with a q-tip I cause that to be a little bit sore so generally I will do a polish that will come off until that's gone and then I go ahead and do my French manicures and that is the goal this time and I'm going to put a coat of kaleidoscope on here and this is going to be in real time I cannot pause this camera like I do my phone that's why I'm kind of having conversations in between this this polish here is kaleidoscope this polish here and my china glaze fairy dust and the third one being the OPI Para Wet My Whistle. Now I do have full bottles of both of these, but I cannot find them anywhere. These are the three polishes that you will hear me talk about the most as far as for nail art. I use these three on top of looks all the time. And what this does, as you can see here, is it gives that little glass fleck and hopefully you can see that it just gives it a little outdoors it gives it that, that little glass fleck look but you can't really see it here now I did mention that I am trying my autofocus last time I'm sorry I'm trying the manual focus last time I tried the autofocus but I've got this mat right here that's what I was worried about I need to find something plain so what I'm going to do is tell you again from start um, this stamping plate right here is a Queen Encore plate and the look that is going on on my Instagram right now um, there's a giveaway there I have a photo of the look that I did with this and in that particular look I often use this section so that is the look that is on there over that um, 
information for that entry. But today I'm going to use this side right here. And we're going to use these butterfly areas right here. Any one of these. And I really do like this plate a lot. There are four pieces to this particular plate and I have used all of them. And what I am going to do is share with you the first polish that I used here. This one here is called Cheetah. I don't know if this will show. Or it might take it a minute to do so because I don't know how many things is trying to focus on here. So the next time I try this, I will try a white or a black background. But this is called Cheetah. There's also another green called Vespa that I use for this look. But anyway, I use two coats of this polish right here. And this is a textured polish. This is a nice polish to use if you're trying to camouflage damage on the nail. You've heard me say that. Now what I plan to do, I play, pray that this works out. Um, other than showing you some stamping, I plan to also try to share with you just other hand and nail care things. I generally will put on two coats of this polish. And sometimes I don't wait. I do it back to back because I'm not going to be putting any more of this on. But this is a pretty polish. If you happen to already have a polish combo that you like with this polish, you can do this nail stamping um, with any color. And that's all that I did here was I put on two coats of this polish. And then what we'll do here when this is dry is we'll stamp. But since this finger right here was pre-done, we're going to go ahead and show you on here how I do this. So, oh, I do need to share with you what I'm going to use. The color that I use, the polish color again, is Cheetah. The actual base color that I'm using, this is from the Hawaii line. This is OPI. That's hilarious. And I use two to three coats of this depending on how it goes on because sometimes this polish goes on really thick and sometimes it goes on just right. So I use two to three coats. For this time, I'm just using two because I will have this off come tomorrow, but it's a pretty mint green. And you can use others. I also use Illamasqua Milf when I do um, this any green sometimes. And then what I use to sponge is this white china glaze and you can use any white, old or fresh. Sometimes I use my Conad white and I just sponge a little white on top of the color. And then I'm using Kaleidoscope. This is very pretty. I use this under a lot of my looks, whether they're matte or whether they're shiny. And this is getting harder and harder to find, I am finding out. I have about three or four bottles here. I have one or two less bottles than I thought, so I don't know if I included them in a giveaway or if I gave them to my daughter. But this is getting harder and harder to find, so when I do find it, I purchase two at a time. Not to mention it's relatively cheap, anywhere from $0.99 cents to $1.99, and it's totally more than worth it. And then after that, the nail stamping polish that I'm using is moss green. This is a Conad color. And a lot of these I bought in 2012, 13, and 14. I haven't bought any since. And I do need to buy some more. I have not ordered from Conad in a long, long time. They are the first people that I ordered from. And once I found Mo U London and I learned of Rika polish and I learned of Mo U London, I love all of my stamping polishes and I really do like these. This moss green, I don't really have anything like this in anything else. Although my Mundo de Unis has a lot of colors, I really like this over my mint greens a lot. The Mundo de Unis color that I will use a whole lot is called military green. And then the final step um, over the stamping over this that makes it not shiny. And I chose the not shiny because of the texture of my pixie dust. This is a Zoya matte top coat. Now I do like this a lot, but I have found, you see that white? There was way more white in there last night. I kind of walked around with it in my pocket today while it was warm outside. I do have a China glaze matte, but I think a lot of people were saying it yellow. So if I have it, I have never tried it yet. The matte that I use a lot was the Clean Colors. That's a really good one, but it's also hard to find. I cannot find it. And then the OPI one I use, but sometimes I worry about it smearing. So the two that I use the most are this one in Clean Color. And I had this in a mini and I ended up ordering it, but that white kind of bothers me. It kind of looks the way like Alka-Seltzer or Aspirin does when it settles in water. It didn't affect this over here. 
um, but I do like this a lot and I am looking to try other matte top coats so I think that's everything that I showed you and I also want to say besides nail stamping on the nails you can do crafts and things like this um, I did this ring not on purpose but I just happened to it had some bands from Michaels one Christmas I went and got some stuff for my son when he was about 13 or 14 to make some bracelets for a friend of his and we had these left over so I just took some of the rocks that I had and we did those bracelets and so I wanted to see how a nail look would look so what I did was I put it on there and that is something that I often wear a lot on my nails it's one of my go-to looks and I plan on sharing that with you as well I don't exactly know everything that I'm gonna do here I mean I could say it but we don't know because so many things change but my goal is to come to you anywhere from twice a week to once a week share with you my nail stamping share with you nail care um, share with you just tips and tricks even for my people that don't like nail polish and don't wear it on a basis other than maybe special occasions there's stuff for you too there's hand treatments nail treatments some of you may like treatment polishes so I'm gonna try to touch the gamut on everything I have some nail stickers some nail decals just different things like that that I'm going to try to touch on as I get used to this camera now we know I'm not very used to it yet but I am trying and if I don't use it how am I gonna know because guys I have had this camera those of you that watch me know for a year in a couple of months I bought it last October it's basically stayed in the box I think I broke the mic on it when it fell and hit the floor because I was messing with the wrong area of the tripod thankfully it was down low and already on the floor and the mic is what hit and broke but the mic is on here because I glued it however it may not stay so I'm going to share with you on um, this nail here how we do this and I do like the fact that I have this down here but as you can tell I don't quite know where to place my hands or anything like that and I will use a different backing but I do like the fact that this is right here and I can do this for you whereas with my phone I can't also I want to say I'm getting a new phone on Friday so I don't know how it'll go with putting that in there but this is what we do here and then I will just put this across there like that and hopefully you can see that this did work a lot better last night it was like I could have my hand under here like this and it focused a lot quicker but I did have it on manual um, so to me these are working about the same which is why I want a different lens and then there's this little lint roller thing here so I'm going to see this one right here. We're going to go ahead and do this other one. But again, like I was saying, even if you don't do nail polish, there are all sorts of things that you can do treatment wise because I have a nail pro book. And what I have been looking at in that nail pro book that I am very interested in is um, there's a lot of waxes and masks and scrubs for the hands things that you don't have to be a professional person to have and I do like that and I love stuff like that and so I have some of that kind of stuff um, I have the OPI hand scrub and I'm gonna try to put my hand under here so you can see what I'm doing all I'm doing is just taking this off of here and like I said I will leave this on here um, probably through tomorrow I'll take it off because I go to work tomorrow and generally depending on what I'm doing at work my manicures won't last that long anyway but this is a look that looks nice on short nails so while my nails are short I'm gonna be bringing you guys these looks I also plan to share with you nail combos and that type of thing and most of my stuff guys will be natural nail care because my nails are natural but I will say this if you do acrylics or you do um, nail forms or you do those nails that you buy those press on nails and you get the plain ones you can nail stamp those I think you would just put down a base coat on that you can decorate it as you choose 
Um, and like my friend that does get acrylic nails, she would have me to do a design on her nails and she could take it off with nail polish remover. It didn't affect it. And there are people on here. I think I watched Natalia's nails that she does sculpted nails. She puts a mix of stamping and her own nail art on there. So you can do everything with this. Another thing that I love about this is you've heard me say it goes across the board. If you have a niece, a granddaughter, little sister, you know, this is something for grown-ups and for little girls as well. Maybe you got a three-year-old and you let her wear nail polish. Nothing's cuter than to me like a cute light blue or green on a little girl's feet. And then there's a big old butterfly or a flower that you stamp on there. And even my son. Now